Uh, I think that overall, I think for both teams to win two games each in the in the white ball format is probably fair enough. Um, we're out, definitely outplayed in the third ODI. In the second one, Pakistan put on a clinical run chase to chase 350. Um, tonight we played really well, particularly through that middle overs with the ball where Greeny and Nathan Ellis started to make some things happen. But um, I'm really proud of the group, to be honest. The way that we've been able to um, shut out quite a few distractions that they've been when we've had some COVID, COVID amongst the group and, and some uncertainty at, at times with with selection purely based on that. Um, the, the way that the guys have been able to put that to the side and, and focus on playing and training and, and the commitment to, to each game, each training session, um, following protocols as, as small as it sounds has been really important. So yeah, super proud of a, a quite an inexperienced group, no doubt, but um, plenty of lessons learned. Thank you, well done. All right. Look like we're using a slightly different setup today. Is it something that you worked with before, or did it have anything to do with just the Pakistan attack and you know them bringing the ball back into you? Uh, well, it's something that I that I tend to do. Again, it's after my initial sort of ten balls, eight to ten balls, when you start to get a bit of bit more of a rhythm that you can that I tend to go to that one, especially when guys are angling in and attacking the stumps quite a bit more um, on low bouncing wickets in particular. So, um, yeah. I should have gone to it earlier, shouldn't I? Uh, the last couple of games, but just one of those things. I mean, you get knocked over early, and, and then today the wicket, the wicket played really nicely against a new ball. Well, probably wasn't quite as much swing there initially, so um, yeah, slight slight tinkering with technique, but that's nothing nothing uncommon. Uh, thanks, Aaron. Sorry, I have Mel with me, so she has a question for you. Well. Hey, Aaron. Um, just uh, I, I, I just uh, I know you weren't quite able to finish. The job. Can you just uh, take us through what that was? Did you think you'd managed to um, finish it off there with a with a six and uh, like just a few moments there where where there was a question over the catch? Were you kicking yourself a little bit? Oh yeah, definitely kicking myself. But um, off, off the bat, I knew what didn't quite have enough. It would have been a would have been a bit lucky if it got over the rope. But um, yeah, just with the angle coming in, that was a shorter side of the ground. So I thought that that was a that was a decent enough risk to take but yeah it wasn't to be but, but nice that we got home in the end with Benny McDermott I've seen that in the last last couple of overs he, Marcus Sawin has played a beautiful knock um, through that middle part as well to, to really keep that momentum going Louis Thank you. Hey Aaron um, Nathan Ellis seems to have had a, a pretty massive rise over the last 12-24 months even, even going back to, to when he was out of the Big Bash um I mean, what have you seen from him in these or all the white ball games and suggestion that he might be ready for more opportunities? Oh, he's someone who brings an unbelievable attitude, an unbelievable work ethic to to games and training, his energy, his intensity, um, his ability to learn really quickly, whether it be um, whether it be with new ball, old ball, um, talking to experienced players, coaches. He's just got an amazing attitude that he brings to the table and he's someone that the boys love playing with everyone loves playing with everyone in the side but when he turns up he's just got an infectious infectious attitude that he brings and just one of them guys that that will have a super future because he just he's prepared to prepared to challenge himself each and every day um, which is a great sign of especially from a, a guy who hasn't had a huge amount of um, international experience and just on um, on the spirit of the series, Aaron, I know a lot of people have kind of talked about it. Um, you know, for, for people who aren't there, mate, can you kind of just explain, um, uh, I guess, how, how, how good it has been, if you agree with it? Oh, it's been unbelievable, the spirit from both teams. I think sportsmanship the, on, on the field, it's, it's been been some really good, good tough cricket. But, um, yeah, just a, just a wonderful tour to be a part of, to be honest. Uh, Aaron, uh, well played and you have saved your best for the last and final match and we have seen uh, both the team played real competitive cricket in the T20 World Cup uh, but here you have that psychological edge winning that match and uh, same happened here uh, Pakistan batted brilliantly in the start but you have come back brilliantly and controlled the game from here there onwards uh, what was your thinking when uh, wickets fell at the end of the day? 
Uh, do you panic? Do you think that Pakistan going to win that match or it was in your bag? Oh, never, the game's never in the bag until you, you hit the winning runs or, or close, up, close it out with the ball. But um, I think the, the ability for a really inexperienced bowling group to bounce back after, after a power play where Pakistan got some great momentum was fantastic. With Cameron Green, a um, couple of wickets there, swinging the momentum and, and then building on that over the next couple of overs to, to drag that total down from sort of a 180 total to like a, yeah, 162, I think it was. So that was, that was a fantastic effort from from a young bowling group with Adam Zamper in there as well. Travis Head chipped in and, and did a really good job. Um, so it was just one of, those, one of those games where in the subcontinent, you, you generally, power play is generally where teams can get away from you, but our ability to, to just hang in there and, and wait for an opportunity, create an opportunity, and then and then help really restrict them was fantastic. Muhammad Newman. Muhammad. Uh, well played today, Finchy. Uh, hello. Am I, am I audible? Yeah. Uh, well played today, Finchy. Uh, we have seen that you have tried uh, some new guys, uh, young guys in the limited over series, likes of Nathan Ellis and Sean Everett. Uh, Nathan Ellis got uh, four bigger straights and exciting si sign for Australia. Uh, you will have to play just six games before the T20 World Cup. So, how are you going to prepare for the mega event and uh, what will be your team combination for that World Cup? Finally, I would like to, like to thank Cricket Australia for coming over here and entertaining us with exciting matches. Thank you. Thanks, mate. It was, it was a pleasure being here. I think um, it's only six D20 games. I, I don't think that that's going to be too much of a problem. I, I think we still do play a lot of white ball cricket. There's, there's quite a few one-day games as well off the top of my head. So uh, I think that that's still, that majority of that group will still be together and, and we'll, we'll, still be allowed, uh, we'll still be able to um, talk and strategize and do all that kind of stuff and, and with quite an experienced group uh, as well like there's a lot of experienced players in the wider group as well so I don't think it'll be too much of a problem last one here guys Ollie Caffrey hey Aaron how have you seen uh, Josh Inglis's integration into the uh, T20 side um, seemed to look pretty comfortable out there after yeah, he obviously had the, the break with COVID but yeah he picked up uh, where he left off in that trying to series. Yeah, he's been fantastic. He, nothing seems to phase him. He, the attitude that he brings uh, out in the middle is is brilliant. It's, it's, it's good fun batting with him. He's, he's somebody who, again, takes in so much information and, and his ability to walk out of a hotel room after seven days isolation and, and start off really well was, was outstanding. And... Um, He's just someone, again, like Nathan Allison, the guys love being around and, and they love, um, love having him in squads. He's, he's a super player. He's, he's got so much talent as well. So, um, yeah, been really impressed with, with Josh. Thanks very Thanks, much, guys. guys. Thanks, everyone. We'll catch up with you um, when we get home. Appreciate everyone's time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.